Welcome back to the Proper Dummies. Today we are starting a brand new UHC. This is going to be a solo survival UHC with no teams. It's oh every man or woman for themselves. Obviously, we have Ryan, we have Bert, we have Megan, and we have myself. And uh, let us know who you think is going to win in the comment section down below. Who's going to reign supreme? Me! Ryan! And Ryan's also hit that like win. button if you're Not excited if for a new Ryan season. Off the edge. You're right! <laughs> well, bye, Ryan! That's right, how you start. You start with that health. You start with that health. Yeah, sorry, Ryan. Health. You have to start with that health. I don't want to. Well, you you're have still going to win. With it's okay, Ryan. you can start with this health. Bye, Ryan. <laughs> Bye, guys. He's still gonna win. Okay, here we go. Time for me to win this UHC. If anyone thinks they can beat me, they can't. I'm the best UHC player we've ever seen. With lots of echo. Not honestly. I, I think I can win this. I don't think. Really, the only person I could say has a chance at winning is Zach if he doesn't do something dumb, which he does almost every game. So I'm not really worried. Megan, maybe. But Bert, I'm not worried about it at all. Bert's gonna probably fall in a pit of lava or something like that. I'm not worried about Bert. I'd say Zach and Megan maybe a little bit. Megan more so would be less on the PvP end, more so on the like resourcefulness end. Zach would be more on the PvP end and less on the resourcefulness. Cause let's be real, Zach's not a resourceful person. Megan's already mining. See, Megan, look at her go. She's already mining. Bert just got wood. Zach has, oh, Zach got wood. Does Zach get wood? Oh, Zach got wood. Okay, Zach got wood. I was gonna make fun of him for not getting wood yet, but I mean, whatever. If I wanna really make sure I'm safe, I think my best bet would be to go like, there's a cave over there. That's where we're gonna start. We're gonna start where there's a cave because caves connect to other caves and that's a good idea. We'll go to caves and we can win this because I'm Ragai Rocky and I don't lose. Even though, I mean, I do. I do lose. So this cave actually is, looks fairly useless to be honest, but we'll try and, oh, right about those sugar cane. This cave is pretty, Torrid. It just goes up here, doesn't it? This is the stupidest cave I've ever seen generated. <laughs> Bert already has time to start. Oh, Bert. Oh, Zach took the first damage. Oh, God, Zach. I was thinking it was going to be me. Now I'm wrong. Now let's get a piece of cobblestone just to block off that water. Just because, like, I mean, it's going to be obnoxious. So just kind of plop that right there. Let the water go away. That almost actually hurt me. So we'll make our cave starting right here. Um,. And we'll start digging down, see what we can find. Cause like, I mean, at this point, I don't know much else. Now we're on peaceful for the first two games. I don't have to worry about hunger or monsters for the first two rounds. But after that, I pretty much have to worry about hunger and stuff. So like, yeah. Okay, mine some iron. Gotta be, I have to be really quick. The fact that we have iron already though is a good start. We'll start by making, oh, and coal. Really? Oh, this is awesome. This is a great start. I wish I could find a cave, but like, I'll start with this. This is perfect. I think I should be able to take out Zach or Megan or someone within the first, cause I'll be targeting them. Bert. I want to see Bert reach the finals, and then I may just off myself, and that way Bert can just win, and Bert will win the UHD. That would be the goal. I kind of want to see Bert win. Um, <clears throat> if you guys want Bert to win, I type Bert wins in the comments section down below. Well, we're making these these this let's see, like lightning round, so I don't actually have like a game plan, which is weird because my whole life revolves around game plans. Um, I don't know which mine this for now. I just want to find diamonds. If I can find diamonds in the first episode, that'd be pretty cool, but I don't think I'm going to. I might have picked a bad spot. That's possible. That would stink. Oh, no, we didn't. Here we go. That's what I wanted this whole time. It's just a cave. Oh, and it's a big one. It's a big cave. Yes. Oh, here we go. Goodbye. Any chance that anyone had. I'm going to win this now, and I'm very confident in that win. Look at this. More iron. Three. Four. We'll head back up just so we can make some more pickaxes. And then I think in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and we are just going to explore and discover and find out all the nifty little, uh, wait, where's my staircase? Okay, yeah, we're going to explore this cave, find all the goodies this cave has to hold, and then we're going to go ahead and basically unlock everybody's bases and murder them. Because I'm guessing that Bert's going to probably build a base. If anyone thinks they can beat me, they're wrong. I found a big cave. It'll connect me to diamonds. I'll find diamonds and I'm gonna win. Are we gonna find diamonds this episode? Oh, this is gigantic. Oh, I need to mine this before we turn. <gasps> oh, oh, I took half a heart. I knew it. I knew I'd be the first, but uh, I didn't think it'd be that soon. Uh, well, we took half a heart of damage. Nothing we can do about that. So we're just gonna kind of, there we go. There's some more iron. Let's go get this. Come here. This pick is going to bring in like one hit. Yep, there it is. Okay, then we'll get this more. And look, but this is good. This is really good for us. Cause we can just go ahead and find this. This cave is worth it. Like I, yes, I took half heart. I understand this. It was dumb, dumb of me, but like, we're going to win. We got to win. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Yep. Okay. There we go. 
Okay, so all I have to do is figure out how to survive and how to kill Ryan. That should be my first objective. How to kill Rye Guy Rocky. Murder him. I'll murder him. Good. Oh, God. He's already achieving things. Look at him. Oh, my God. My name's Ryan. I know how to get wood. <gasps> Wait, you know what I should do? I should build a base underwater. Oh, my God. I'm going to do that. I'm going to build a base underwater here in the ocean, and then no one will be able to find me ever again. And I'll be able to live happily ever after. And maybe actually have a chance to win this UHC. Now, I think maybe I even need to work on maybe making an alliance with somebody like maybe Bird or Megan. And then I really have a chance. Because if I can kill Ryan first, then I have a chance to do this. I have a chance to make things happen. But first, I'm going to have to figure out how to make an underwater base. And, uh, I don't know if I... Do I need sponge? Oh, man. Is this going to be possible? I'll try to build a house underwater and then dig under... Uh, so that way all the water drains and then hopefully I can breathe and live underwater because if I live underwater Then I can be the last one to survive and no one will ever find me So let me go get uh, a couple more pieces of logs and then we should be good. Just a couple more logs. Oh, no, this isn't good Oh, no. Oh, no. I've already lost a heart. I've already lost a heart. What have I done? No, okay. Hold on. We need some more wood. This is not enough wood. Like I said, this is not enough wood. Ah, I'm lagging out. You're gonna have to go on without me, guys. I'm gonna build a house though underwater. You can trust in that. Lag. Help. Oh no, what if this is Ryan's doing? What if this is my demise? I'm gonna lag out and then die. The night is falling. Everything is so laggy. Okay, we have a UHC all alone, all by myself. I'm not gonna have to rely on anybody or anything to get me to the finish line, because I find that my partner's always let me down. Ryan has already earned an achievement, of course he did. So I have to quickly try to get wood. I only have a few minutes to try to, oh my God. Oh wait, I got the achievement this time. <laughs> I thought it was Ryan again. I only have a few minutes to kind of make my life happen over here. So we're gonna quickly make a crafting table. Yeah, beautiful. The best crafting table I'll ever see. The goal here is to get as many achievements as possible to scare the other people into thinking that we're doing better than them. So we are gonna get an ax, and then I want to get a pickaxe, cause I need to mine cobblestone to get a furnace. Awesome, so look at this, look at all the achievements I'm getting. Bert just now finally got wood, so I think I'm gonna beat him out in this. I'm just gonna grab a few more pieces though, just in case we need sticks for torches, cause we are gonna be doing some mining. I don't wanna do too much mining, cause I realize this is only like me, hello? Uh, and I don't wanna just mine by myself in the dark. Forever, that sounds really awfully boring. So we're just gonna grab some wood and I'm gonna leave the tree half cut because I know that bugs a lot of people and I don't have time to get all the way up to the top. So let's quickly turn these into planks. 44, uh, I guess I want a few more. I want a full stack. It's like my maker's mark. Everybody will know that I was here and that hopefully I'm not dead yet. So hopefully they'll be intimidated. Cause do I intimidate anybody? I don't know. All right. We're good. So we are in this gross little swamp area and I think I want to be somewhere nicer. Okay, there's sheep here. I can't really do anything with the sheep. I can't kill them. Um, actually, I could. I could kill them for food. So, excuse me. Oh my gosh, my sheep don't make a little noise. They don't go ba when I kill them. <laughs> so sad. I'm just grabbing some food because I am going to be doing a lot of running since I don't have to rely on other people. Um, because usually whenever you have to rely on other people, you know, things can go kind of wonky. You get left behind or you leave others behind. I do not like the biome that we're spawned in at all. Um, right now I'm running away. I don't want to run away too far from the main spawn though, because I know I will have trouble getting back. I just want to find somewhere to mine. Um, maybe I can go into the side. I was kind of hoping to find, is this a cave? Oh yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. And there's coal over here. That's perfect. Why did Zach leave the game? I wonder if he's glitched. That would suck for him, but that's good for me because that means I'm getting a time advantage over here. Yep, he just rejoined. Okay, good. So we are currently just trying to find some coal. We're gonna explore into this little biome here, this little cave, this crevice. What do you guys wanna call it? I know, a, a cavern? I, I think it's just a cave. I know we're gonna be on peaceful for a while. Okay, I fell into the water. Good thing we're, <laughs> good thing nothing crazy is happening. There wasn't like a spider down here or anything. Or else I'd be in a lot of trouble. So Zach has given me a good amount of survival skills. He's told me to always put my torches on the right side so I don't get lost. Does this, yes, this goes down into the depths. The depths of this cave. Am I gonna get lost here? Probably, but hopefully I can just mine enough um stone to where it's not too big of a deal because then I can always just climb all the way up. Oh my gosh, what if I got diamonds on the first episode? That's fantastic, a dead end. 
Just what I didn't want to happen. Oh, oh, <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, still a dead end, guys. All right, so I found some sort of cave. Ryan's already gotten wood. I guess before I go in this cave, I should probably get some uh, wood, wood, woodages. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Look what you got yourself into, Bert. All right, now I'm gonna have to just break this with my hands. My hands are all bloody and blistery now. Zach's got wood, Ryan's got wood, I've got wood, and I beat Megan to, uh, no, I think, well, she's already mining, so she must have wood. That go it. You're falling behind, Bert. You're falling behind, and you're gonna lose. I don't wanna lose anymore. I always lose. I'm Bert, that's what I do. I don't wanna lose, and I wanna do good! All right, so this is a nice little area, and it's right next to spawn, which I very much enjoy. All right, so hopefully they don't assume that I'm this close. Got myself a benchmark. All right, and I believe... Oh, I beat Ryan to a benchmark. Oh, someone's falling behind. Go ahead and write in the comments section who you think's going to win. It's not me. You don't think I'm going to win. Even if you say you think I'm going to win, you don't actually believe that. You're just joking. You're like, <laughs> Bert's going to win. No, no, he's not. Oh, and we got iron. Heck to the yes. All right, gonna start off with some iron tools. Cannot complain one bit about that. Boink, time for an upgrade. Seven, eight, is that a nine or? Oh, it's just an eight, the nine, 10. So 10 iron, that's enough for a lot. That's enough for a lot. It's already nighty night. I'm gonna smelt up some stone and kind of barricade myself in this cave. I think that's probably the wisest of ideas. Just so if somebody does try to come in, I can kind of be like, you know, kind of hidden. Because I can make it look like this is the end of the cave. Like, it's not really a cave. It's a, it, it, it's just not a cave. It's like a small hole. Yes. Quite. All right. Oh, yeah. No one's going to see me coming. And that makes Bert happy. Now he's in his own little fortress of solitude. Ha, ha, ha. Now no one will know I'm down here. That makes me a happy boy. Well, I made myself my little torches. I have plenty of awesome cutlery, which makes me very happy. And uh, I think this is a good little uh, cave to be able to work in. So I guess this is a good place to end. So I'll be seeing you guys next episode. Bye.